Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another very useful mod. This one is called the Self Maintenance Unit, which is this lovely thing sitting right next to me. So what is this mod? Well, if you cast your mind back many years ago, there was a very popular mod for the Nanobot Build and Repair System. That mod was super useful, especially for playing solo in survival mode, especially if you're using mods like the modular systems and counter mods to spawn in a bajillion enemies coming to attack you to make your survival mode much more spicier. And while that led to like a lot of wreckages around your base, that the nanobot build and repair system would deconstruct, shove into your containers, and will make your life a lot more easier. But this mod is slightly different. It does very similar things. It's able to repair things up. It's able to see blocks below other blocks. It's able to see blocks essentially below the ground, clip into stuff. It does not matter. It still behaves exactly the same, but it cannot grind things up. It cannot remotely pick things up off the ground. But most importantly, it cannot affect other grids. No, this mod, the self maintenance unit, can only affect grid it's attached onto. So you want to say repair up your ship after being in combat for an extended period of time, then this will find all the blocks that are damaged and repair it up. And naturally if you have a projector on your ship, this will see the projected blocks and repair it up naturally, much like the nanobot build and repair system would also do. So if I grab hold my character and come all the way up to it, this is the block we get for a quick little outside of the thing. There we are, we can see a little symbol on there is red, if we turn it on it's going to turn green. But over on this side, here's our control panel, coming up to it on the inside, this is all we get, so very different compared to the Nanobot Build and Repair System because we've got barely any controls, because well, how simplified this actually is. So of course down to here we've got ourselves our filter colour, which is going to be what you want to exclude from being welded up. So say you want to have some unfinished blocks, unfinished armour panels, acting as railings or just a bit of decorative pieces, much like the windows all the way around here, you can just paint them in that colour and it will simply ignore them. Then once you're done repairing everything up around the ship, you turn it off, and then you're good to go and put them back to whatever colour you want to have. And to make this system a lot easier, what we've got down here are two buttons where we can set this and what we'll do is take your colour palette and we'll set it to the corresponding colour so now you can just very easily go around paint stuff up and we'll make it so it doesn't repair that up. Yes, that's all we get in there and what I am going to do now is turn it on, I'm going to grab hold of the free camera once again, move it away and as you can hear we are starting to repair stuff up around the ship or around this rover and it'll take a little bit of time to actually do. There we go, the windows on the side, before we'll move around to the solar panels at the back, and hopefully the stuff in the middle, which is what I was sorting out earlier, while blurbling around with what this thing is. So while we're watching this build all the way up, unlike the build and repair system, we do not have that little ball that comes across to show you visually what you're actually working on. This will simply go across to an unfinished block on the grid, repair up the resources out of a cargo container, then move on to the next thing with no particular priority basically or what it wants to do. The nanobot build a repair system you could prioritize certain things, you could make it say go for weapon systems first, power systems second, and then your assemblers refinery after that, leaving steel blocks to last as a very low priority. On this there doesn't seem to be any kind of priority of how it works, it just seems to go for whatever it feels like, I meaning you can be a sitting duck at the end of the day regardless of if you have this block turned on. And then going back to what I was talking about with the cargo container, it's exactly like the nanobot build and repair systems mod, but it'll pull stuff out of your container to repair up any blocks nearby. If it doesn't have the actual resources in the containers, it's simply going to repair what it can, then skip over it, won't magically conjure up the resources itself to repair it up. It will in creative mode, but in survival mode, you have to have the resources. If not, it will not be able to repair up blocks properly until while well, you provide the resources, then it'll go back and actually finish off those blocks. And then for other things this mod can do, it can repair up stuff on subgrids. So if you have a custom turret system, if you have a custom wheel system, it can still detect them and it can still repair everything up. It can still use the projector to, well, repair everything up as well. But what it can't do is use connectors. So as you can see the connector on the opposite side of this platform, it was a park up a small fighter, park up a small mining ship or whatever, and while dock it up connected to that connector, the mod will not be able to detect that ship. It will not be able to repair it up. It simply will treat it as a separate grid and ignore it. So there is that. But anyway, go back onto my character, having a wander around here, looking around on the floor at all the blocks I damaged earlier, looking around at all the unfinished blocks that are on here by default, so all these blocks were intended to be unfinished, but now they've been all repaired up into their tip-top condition. And there we are that, coming around towards the back, the solar panels are all done, coming all the way down onto the middle here. There we go, doorways all refined, hygiene engines, tripods, into here, everything is all perfectly fine and repaired up in tip-top condition. And with that, that's pretty much it for the repairing side of things, now to come across to the filter. 
So down to here is the color I have chosen in the block and it actually pastes onto the color palette. So if I was to damage this block, it was to say take a rocket launcher, a rifle, or even just a grinder and start to deconstruct this thing. There we go. It's simply not going to be repaired up. Does it come over to here? Do that. As you see, it suddenly pops into place because it detected it was unfinished. It's now grinded up, but the color red is now being ignored and nothing will happen there. Of course, it was to change the color over to here. Putting that back down. There we go. And now it's been repaired up and it's back in tip top condition. And there we are. That's simply what the color filter does. And it's simply a handy thing to have if you do want to have unfinished parts around your base. Because, like I said earlier, if you were to come over to here, dictate this be a unfinished block. There we go. Now I'm going to grind it up. Not going to repair it. And now everything else is done on this vehicle. Come to here, switch it off. Now I can change it back to whatever color I want to have. And well, we're all now ready to go. And then finally, the only thing left to do is to come into here and actually show you the cost to build. So here is, right at the very top, there is the self-maintenance unit. And it uses 150 computers, 30 detector components, 100 construction components, and then 170 steel plates. So it's not too bad at the end. They should be quite simple to build up very early on in Safar mode, which would be very handy, like I said, at the very start, as being an extra pair of hands for Safar mode, especially if you're playing alone, and especially if you've got a very complicated ship, well, well, there's a lot of stuff going on inside. You got hit by railgun rounds, and now you don't know what is damaged. Just slap down one of these blocks, and well, it just go repair everything up. Especially if you've got a projector projecting everything, that make your life a lot more easier and well, a lot more convenient. But as for that, that's pretty much it for the self maintenance unit. It's simply a nice alternative to the Nanobot Builder Repair Systems mod. It makes it a lot more well, a lot more balanced. It can't deconstruct ships coming towards you. It can't pick up stuff off the ground. It cannot grind enemies as a form of weapon. It just repairs things up as long as it's attached onto this grid. So the link to discussion below to which you download Planet yourself, highly recommend you do, because like I said, it's a very handy mod. And I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.